Time for our morning talker now. The interview canceled. Sony Pictures Entertainment has canceled the Christmas Day release of the movie following terrorist threats against moviegoers. The comedy is about a CIA plot to kill North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. Federal investigators have now connected a hacking of Sony Pictures to North Korea, which has publicly denied that it was involved. Something everybody is talking about. And today we <laughs> welcome in our friends Michael Rock, Lauren, and Larry to uh, get their take on this issue. Guys, are you surprised they actually just called off the whole movie? Very. Although, yeah. you know, Seth Rogen and James Franco are probably deep down inside excited they created an international incident. <laughs> oh, very much. You know, yeah. I read about that. That's probably they, one of their, like, bucket list, like, like, check, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> International incident. You know, and I think they were probably surprised from the beginning that Sony would even let them make this film. Steve was kind of getting at that earlier. Like, Yeah, it's just not the time and the place to do something like that, I would think. Just too controversial that's going topic, on. yeah. yeah. Steve, know. that's logic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right, right. Do they it, use that it in It makes Hollywood? too much sense. <laughs> Movie studios don't do that too much. Yeah. But, I mean, it also uh, sounds they, like a plot, too. You know, this could be the movie for next year. This Listen, it's okay. The Penguins me. movie is still out. Couldn't yeah. they have just used a fictional, like, you know, character rather than the actual guy himself or something like that? But Maybe these that guys been... push the envelope. That's what they're about. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. Well, well, what about the uh, what about the Inglorious Bastards movie that Quentin Tarantino did? I mean, Adolf Hitler was in there, even though he's long gone. But yeah. I mean, well, I don't but, think. But the Nazis aren't going to take over and, and wreak <laughs> havoc now. The Nazis you know, like, weren't that's... good at hacking. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, the crazy have... thing about this is that now that the movie has been completely pulled, so many people want to see it. Like oh, there was a lot right. of people that wanted to see it before, right. but now yeah. right even more so. So maybe it's a conspiracy just to get buzz about the movie. You maybe never know. Doing this this is just yourself. or it'll be released on cable probably in the yeah, next few sure. months yeah, or whatever. Tuned. I did hear that they were not putting it out anywhere at all. Not video, not DVD, mm. not TV, For now. nothing. That is until just someone hacks scrapped. Lauren and gets a yeah. copy of it. That's yeah. right. And there's already been. There's already been clips that have been leaked. But moving on, John Hopkins University, uh, another story here, accidentally sent 300 students emails suggesting that they had been accepted to the school when they had actually already been turned down. Oops. The My university... prediction is the parents will sue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. that's, no, not really, but that's just the way that would be some of them will. Sure some of them will. We have the document. My kid's going to yeah. John Hopkins. Right. <laughs> They'll sue just to get the kid in there? I mean, they can't get any yeah. damages, right? No, no. I think the university should pay all 300 of those uh, students uh, their full college to wear. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, the college Emotional did apologize. Distress. They sent out a letter saying, you know, we're very sorry yeah. about this terrible mistake. But That's not going to be good enough. Some feelings have been hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I actually had the opposite thing happen to me. No I got kidding. a rejection letter when I really did get in. Wow. Oh. I, <laughs> oh, wow. I got, I got a 98% on my uh, exam. And I got rejected, and my mom called up the school and said, listen, I don't want to be one of those moms, but I <laughs> have to get to get in. Okay. That was the University what they of say, Phoenix. they just messed it up, huh? <laughs> that's amazing. Was Did it? you sue them? Yeah, we sue, we, that's, you know, that's, sue of course, everybody. that's yeah. why I got my new house. You're still living off that money, huh? Good for you. So what was that, the School of Hard Knocks? <laughs> no, it was the University of Phoenix. <laughs> ah. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Well, guys, thank you so much for your take on these things. We'll talk to you again next week. You got it.